Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming after you on the Monday after the Friday, the Trumpy boy uh, got COVID. Risk on over the weekend, uh, I guess based on the president's health, which perhaps is improving, and the possibility of... Um, stimulus uh, from the U.S. government. We're risk on. Uh, cross yen is higher, so Aussie yen, Kiwi yen, Sterling yen, Euro yen, all uh, higher. Swiss yen also, which I'm not really sure what that means, is higher. That's the leader overnight. It's uh, six tenths of a percent higher. Basically, it's just a squeeze in dollar yen. Um, and a little bit of move in the other stuff. So we head into the day tactically neutral here. Uh, let's take a look, see if there are any opportunities. Looks like it's going to be a pretty quiet open. We do have a bunch of uh, PMIs today. We'll go over the calendar in a second. Um, but as you can see, Euro here now, we did not take out that interesting sort of 116.84 point, which was sort of the break up point in euro, so that's mildly positive. Um, we'll know, as far as tactically speaking today, um, if the trend book is long euros, you just sit. Uh, but if the tactical book is looking for um, PL today, not much to do in euro, right? <laughs> Cable is probably a better horse just because uh, it's a little bit more volatile anyway, although a lot of news bombs. But this setup looks mildly interesting. <clears throat> People are short cable, um, mainly because Boris Johnson makes it real easy to be short cable and sort of the lack of, of policy and the lack of... I don't know, coherence uh, to what the hell's going on over there. Brexit-wise and COVID-wise makes it easy to be short. Um, but keep in mind, Sterling's been punished for years um, for the Brexit stuff. So I feel like, I mean, I feel like kind of a shitty Brexit's been priced into Sterling already. So just be careful with this. And the point is, this thing will go up as easily as it goes down. All it needs is one comment. 29.80, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 129.78, 79 was the high last week. That's kind of interesting. Some people have drawn this. Let's see what it looks like on the four hours. Um, let's see. It's not super ideal, that, that line, but one of the strategies you can use is just to have an entry up here somewhere, and if it is news-driven, it's going to be way the fuck higher, and if it's not news-driven, you just sort of scratch it at the price. Um, that's a strategy that takes a lot of patience, and you obviously you can't, can't be too emotional about it. So most of you uh, probably don't have the chops for that kind of shit, but um, could squeeze higher in cable. We're, we're, we're not really sure what we're going to do with it. I'm just mentioning it so I can think about it a little bit uh, at the open here. Interesting number of lows now, 91.60 in um, dollar Swiss. Dollar Swiss looks like she wants a little bit lower here. Um, Try and stay away from Dollar Swiss if we can. It's kind of like a poisonous snake, right? You don't. Cobras are fun to look at, but you don't want to go up and like pet them on the head. Uh, anyway, this Cobra, 91.61. Interesting point. Dollar yen. I don't know what to say. Like, should have just collapsed on Friday on the COVID news, but it did not. Yen vol went through the roof. Now yen vol has collapsed. Uh, 94 the low, nothing to do in dollar yen. 
um, news driven down, news driven up, it's right back where it started. Uh, shoot me in the head now, dollar yen. If you're trading dollar yen, euro yen, middle of nowhere, sterling yen. This is a cable trade. 137.02, maybe. Same idea as cable. I don't know. Uh, this is a real conundrum to me. Why um, dollars are dropped from uh, 1730 down to 1640. Uh, we don't trust this at all. We'll be looking for turns. 1632 uh, support today. Dollar max, same chart as dollars are. Same type deal. Don't really trust that, but leaving it alone tactically for now. Aussie, are we going to approach these uh, 7207s today? Maybe. I mean, especially if the news of Trump gets even better, uh, Aussie will fly. So check that out. Euro Aussie is our risk off proxy. Not doing much here. Um, sort of middle of nowhere, right? This is the four hourly chart. So if you want to say somewhere is down here at uh, 160, 150, 165, 90, we're dead center. So just stay away from it. We're not interested in coin flip strategies. Um, and middle of nowhere tends to tends to be that. Interesting highs in Aussie yen, 7606, but again, not, not super interesting. You can see what I mean here. There's really not much to do. Um, dollar cad you could argue who is that mystery offer at 31 on um, Friday wow big iceberg up there a lot went through that was weird um, so just be careful downside dollar cad mainly just from a flow perspective like who was that offer dollar cad should have ripped on Friday crude was getting crushed uh, we were massively risk off and some smart fella with a lot of uh, muscle was there at 132.30. Is this going to break the lows today? Yeah, probably. Is this something you want to chase? Probably not. Uh, Eurocad, nobody cares. Dollar Turkey, we don't trade this much. Um, family we trade with has asked us to avoid it uh, you can they let us trade it intraday intraday but because the overnight so uh, insanely uh, unpredictable um, just a day trade but this is the same story I mean dollar dollar turkey is is so incredibly screwed it, it's um, going to 10 we think gold 1879 is the uh, is the interesting point will be support still 20 bucks away nothing to do with nothing to do here gold Tesla we want to just sell um, 450s in Tesla Apple not doing too much uh, and spoos here pretty robust gotta say uh, considering um, I don't think a, you know an old fat guy is gonna just run away from COVID so quickly. Uh, so I think we're jumping the gun on risk here, but who knows? But not much to do here. Looks mildly risk on. We are not chasing this um, through 33.90 though. Um, you could argue you kind of need to get long. That means some really good news is in. Maybe stimulus. Uh, maybe. A vaccine uh, so keep an eye on that level ZB wants lower right we missed offers on Friday totally annoyed with that tactically core short ZB is the way I mean if you could just trade anything for the rest of the next five years just sell high ones in ZB until this thing collapse stay core short Bitcoin not doing much, 10,660. Crude, 
also not doing much bounced off the uh, on your knees lows 3650 very very important uh, at 38 cents nothing to do as you can see quiet start today um, let's look at this calendar real quick uh, I guess we got these PMIs today which will be which is always just mildly interesting it does move euro a bit and euro yen Spanish Italian French German services PMI we always like services better uh, as the world is more services driven these days certainly the West is um, and then we have US services PMI as well or as they call it non manufacturing so check out those as risk moments uh, and watch your news Trumpy news and stimulus news and good luck people talk to you tomorrow ciao